as this video drops, Silver Wolf will be available for her second rerun. Now, I'm looking to explain why I feel she's the best support in the game right now and why she will be the best support for, I mean, I would say for the entire year of next year, maybe even the year after. And like, let me let me explain why I believe this. First of all, it's her, it's her skill. The ability to change the target weakness to the weakness of your team. Whether you have mono quantum, whether you're running three physical one quantum, whether you're running three of whatever, you can almost guarantee that you will have a weakness of your DPS on the boss at any given moment of the, of the fight. That plus a 20% of that um, damage shred. And that's just an inherent 20%. Level up to 10, you make that 10%. That's a 30% shred just from using your skill. Now, the reason why this is so strong is because I don't believe it's a mechanic that any other support will get in the game for a long time, if ever. It just allows you to take one team and throw it into any fight. Even if it's a fight where the odds are stacked against you, you'll still come out ahead. I just believe that you'll still come out ahead. All because you have Silver Wolf in your team. If you add that with how far she is and her ultimate with the bugs, then you've got yourself an unstoppable debuffer. Unstoppable. The, the, the fact you can have what 45% plus 7% at level 8, which would go up to what 8%, so you're looking at like what a uh, 53% shred of defense, and then you're looking at maybe a let's say a 9% reduction of the enemy's attack and a speed reduction, what 6% every time implement a bug which stays on for three turns now the fact that they last for so long is ridiculous and the fact that the weakness lasts for three turns as well but it lasts for two the weakness lasts for three turns the res shred lasts for two turns but either way like I mean it's just the makers of a great character if we really want to add that with her light cone then you're getting even more damage with the Aether code which is an extra 12% now you might not pull for her light cone and you might just want to use a free to play light cone and you can just use this one that we got from the event now this one that we got from the event will give you 40% effective rate If you merge that with a effective rate body, you've already got yourself 83%. And if you want to add all you get from traces, you get 18%. So you're already over 100% just from those three things. So it's easy to build. All you really want to do is get any type of relic you need. Focus on speed. Focus on a bit of bulkiness. And then maybe like the odd effect hit rate here and there. And then like you've got yourself an amazing character. Now if we're if we're talking about the uh, sphere and rope, the new ones that came out with the 10% damage for other allies of the same type. If you're running a mono quantum team, then I say this is a must-have so it's this like there's nothing better right now for the fact that this is so specific but Silver Wolf just allows that team to happen at any moment any boss fight at any moment you always have 10% extra damage just for having this set 
I mean, even if you're not trying to run a monoplane, you know, even if you can't, you can still run this set, which gives every everyone an eight percent attack boost, and your speed will be higher than one twenty, so you don't have to worry. Um, but you can even run this set, which what I was using before, gives you a little bit of effect hit rate, and then it increases your attack to a maximum of twenty five percent, based off. 25% of your effective rate. Now, you want speed boots. You may not even want to run a four piece quantum set. You can run two traveler just for the 6% speed boots. Like, you can't go wrong with, you can't go wrong with extra stats like speed three. And then, I mean, you can go for the 10% quantum damage or you can go for break like you can go for a little 60% break but either or it doesn't matter she's still gonna work though just the way you want her to work and like so let me talk about why I feel Silver Wolf is the best uh, best support in the game I'll just call her the best support because I feel she's better than any other harmony character we've got is better than any other one hilly character we've got and for me she's going to be better than a lot of future ones if we wish when to put both of them side by side the wolf will always come out of top but um let's say if mihoyo wanted to lower silver wolf's play rate by adding bosses with unique mechanic how would they build a boss that would stop Silver Wolf. Now, if I'm gonna talk about mechanics that we currently have in this game and mechanics that they could use to stop her, let me talk about the weakness stealth mechanic. I call it weakness stealth, but I think it's called no weakness. All it does is it shrouds the weakness of the boss and the boss can't lose toughness bar now since they can't lose toughness bar you can't get a break but but this only lasts for a period of time depending on the mechanic whether it's um, that imaginary robot is at 100% you need to wait for it to lose his 100% whether Yang Xing's swords are alive so you need to clear his swords before you get his bar back whether run your spawns the new mob and you have to kill the mob before you can unlock Grunya's weaknesses. With Silver Wolf, you can still apply a different element to that weakness bar. Even though you can't touch the toughness bar, you can still apply a new element. You'll still get the 20% res reduction with the extra 10% all res reduction. And you will get the quantum. 10% defense shred whether you're if you're running another quantum DPS on the four piece quantum set. So what that means is you can forget the mechanic altogether. Just stack up debuffs on, on the bus and just, just blast through it. So you don't have to worry about all that rubbish. Another thing they could do is add bosses that cleanse themselves. The thing about this is how like Silver Wolf has way too many debuffs the, the cleanse of like if it was one cleanse per turn she was still overloading with cleanses if they had one big cleanse every 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 other turn she would still get back a majority of debuffs before that happens again like if you really look at it she has the weakness type of res which is a debuff she has all type res which is another debuff she has the three debuffs here. That's five altogether. The ultimate count, um, the ultimate defense shred is a whole different debuff to the bug. So that's six. And if you're running her Nikon, I mean, what you get the A for cold, which does two percent extra damage. That's an extra. That's a, that's seven debuffs. There's no enemy in the world that will be able to cleanse all them debuffs. So that's another. That's like another thing that Silver Wolf just bypass 
and that would hurt other characters more than it would hurt her. Um, if we're talking about maybe you make an enemy with high HP but low defense. So what this means is that defensive shred will not affect that boss as heavily as it would affect the boss with high defense and lower HP. But then again, when you think about it, how many types of um, resistance shreds have you got to the point where it doesn't matter how much HP this boss has, they're just going to be getting broken and bruised. She's just a good investment. Now, let me just end it at that. I don't want to ramble too much. I've really spoken my piece. And all I want to say is good luck with your pools. And I hope you get her if you're looking for her. If not, then enjoy Argenti if you're pulling for him. Or enjoy Ranmei. And I'm out.